This is a review for the Wise Robot Vacuum. We specifically bought this robot for review because it offers LiDAR navigation at a low price. LiDAR navigation at least allows for very precise and efficient navigation. That's not to say that all LiDAR robots navigate well. They don't. But the robots we've tested that pad the most precisely and the most efficiently all use LiDAR to navigate. So we were eager to test how well the WISE robot could navigate using its own version of LiDAR navigation. We also put it through our usual battery of airflow, suction, and pickup testing to see how good of a vacuum it is. Let's take a look. The WISE robot's airflow was measured at 17 CFM. Its suction was measured at exactly 1 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the WISE robot picked up all debris types very well. This robot has an average sized direct clean path as its brushel compartment is an average width at six and a half inches wide. The robot also uses a single side brush to help pull debris from the perimeter of the robot into its direct cleaning path. Like most other robot vacuums we've tested, the WISE robot also used repeated movement over the same areas to clean up well in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test on default power, the WISE robot picked up 8 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. On maximum power, it picked up exactly the same amount of debris, 8 grams. In our hard floor stress test, the WISE robot once again picked up all debris types very well. It again used its side brush and repeated movement over the same areas to clean up well in this test over time. The WISE robot also performed very well cleaning edges. It got sufficiently close to the edge when moving close and parallel to it to clean it properly. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the WISE robot did not perform well on default power or on maximum power. Even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test on either power setting. This is a fairly average result though for a robot vacuum. In our human hair pickup test, the WISE robot picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 80% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually, though this again was a fairly average result for a robot vacuum. Just like most other robot vacuums we tested, the WISE robot performed much better in our pet hair pickup test. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin without issue. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we first see how the WISE robot uses LiDAR to navigate in a very precise row by row pattern across the room. Note though how outside of cleaning edges, the robot only moves in vertical rows. We would have preferred to see it also add horizontal row by row padding as it moves across the middle of the room, like the Roborock Q5 for example shown here, as moving in a crisscross pattern like this would increase the probability of it being able to pick up especially difficult to pick up debris. That being said, it does pad especially compactly in vertical rows. We counted 19 vertical rows outside of edge rows for the WISE robot versus 15 for the Q5. This level of compactness in its padding does make up somewhat for its lack of horizontal padding. And when it comes to coverage, we have no complaints. The WISE robot gets 100% coverage across the whole room in this test. Moving on to our clutter room testing, we again see some row by row padding in the few open areas of the room. But we also see how the robot navigates around different types of obstacles. And here the WISE robot does just about as well as even the most expensive LiDAR robot vacuums we've tested. It moves effortlessly around all of the obstacles used for this test. It also got excellent coverage in this test. These are very impressive results for a LiDAR robot vacuum at its price point. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot. And using the WISE companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the WISE robot's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the WISE robot one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. This robot has excellent airflow and suction according to our testing. 
It picks up surface level debris on both carpet and hard floors very effectively. And it picks up edge debris very well. It also picks up embedded debris on carpet very well. It navigates very precisely and efficiently, even in cluttered environments. And it's very competitively priced for a LiDAR robot vacuum. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, it does struggle tangling with longer hair. It also has fairly mediocre battery life and is quite noisy on default power. This robot is also not compatible with a self-empty docking station. In terms of general recommendations, we have to start with this robot's price. At the price you pay for this robot, and here we're talking about the sub $300 price range, you usually can't get a good robot vacuum that also uses LiDAR to navigate. LiDAR is very important not just because it enables precise and efficient movement, but also because it allows for mapping. It allows you to use the robot's companion app to label rooms, set the robot to clean specific rooms, and most importantly, use keep out zones to keep the robot out of certain parts of your home so it won't get stuck on things or bump into things you don't want it to. This is critical functionality that you just don't get with most other budget price robot vacuums. The vast majority of robots in the sub $300 price range are either non-mapping random pathing or gyroscope equipped models, not fully mapping capable LiDAR robots. This makes the WISE robot an outlier at its price point. It's one of very few robots at its price that are good quality vacuums and are also fully mapping capable with properly working LiDAR navigation. It's one of the best value robot vacuums we've tested and it comes highly recommended. See the description of this video for a link to buy this robot as well as a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend, and thank you for watching.